Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to an exciting, innovating, and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one and only Massa Propaganda Hero Psych, Defender of the Fatherland of Hito Wami One Own. You guess it is, Twin Beaches. In the south, we have Osadagath so fighting here for America, freedom, democracy, here with the 3rd Infantry Division, special operations right off the bat with a weasel out. In the north, we have Jabba Jabba Jobber fighting here for the German army, Deutschland here with the first Fallschirmjäger to be shown. Got Fallschirm Pioneers dropping it full up with some regular Pioneers here. Got Luftwaffe versus Back Ops on Twin Beaches. Let's go everyone. As always, big hearty thanks to my patron supporters for the continued and general support. And a big thanks there to Tom for joining their heroic and spectacular ranks. Big thanks to you, Tom and everyone else. And of course, always a thanks to those who keep commenting, liking on my videos, subs, such as with the YouTube algorithms. So, Ken Kratt following up here for Jibber as well. Now, that's a very interesting opening here. Two Pioneer Squads, one Function Pioneer Squad, then Cat Crowd. Definitely unusual. In the south, the Weasel just capturing up stuff here. I'm seeing the Weasel in a bit here since the US Meta is so heavily focused on airborne and armor and a bit of advanced infantry that the Weasel just doesn't get to see much light of day, anyways. So, Raven following up here for Osirigath. Scouts from the west side straight to the Function Pioneer here. Scouts quickly dodging out the Function Pioneer's infantry coming in out here for Jeba. Growing points here, growing points there. Ken Kratt there roaming about as well here for Jibba. Weasel slowly advancing in the south here. Got communication cables there for Jibba. And interesting enough, he's not going for the fuel point there right away. Seems he's more just focused heavily on the fuel point here around Mount Bacon. So an interesting opening a choice there as well by Jibba. Certainly makes him a bit harder to predict in some respects. Second raft one way here for Sulagath. More fortification work here for Jibba. Function Pioneer, ready for Function Pioneer force with their Car 9 TK bolt and action rifles. What are your orders? Almost got a fuel point here. Gonna do spot now for Jibba. And there you go, got the fuel point that he's been connecting. Now we got the Weasel and the Rouse Squad moving in here. Of course, Jibba's southern flank is completely wide open, as exposed as can be. And of course, a silly guy they can just walk in and just take it without really having to fire some shots. Of course he did. He is playing as the Americans. Obviously shots are going to get fired whether they're needed or not. Meanwhile, Fountain Pioneers. He was robbed caught by Mount Bacon. And he's out there for Jebba and Germany. Ready to support here the Fountain Pioneer. We got the support in here for a silly guy. Fairly light tier one here. Ken Crab from Norfords. Of course, he will need support here with the Falchion Pion. There we go. Lewis drops dead first. Ken Kratt rushing him, bashing to the right from in there. Getting a bit of damage in here. Falchion Pion prime support. Andy 4 2 from up for Jeva. And he's almost there with the Falchion Pioneers. Regular yeah, punch and assist here. We got there. Jeva pushing hard the Rav squad. We got Jeva's Pioneers moving up here. Might even try and flank around. Go for the cutoff point here. And he's finding the scene. MD 42 there. Almost done here for Jeva. So far, the sort of gap definitely, I think, has the upper hand here versus Jeva in terms of map control. Weasel there flanking the Pioneers. Ralph got forced off Mount Bacon. The furious German counterattack here. Grenier's Pioneers swinging off. Falchion Pioneers seizing the cutoff point. I would have figured this would be the Pioneers, not the Falchion Pioneers. Okay, now the Ralph's going for Osiligarth after the captain. Weasel there falling back. MD42 with the north here. Raffman quickly moving to occupy the house here. Pioneers might push for the cutoff point there, I suppose. Mimo got Ralph's going in. That's going to require more forces here from Jeba. Got the cutoff point there, almost secured here. Pioneers taking fire there. Pioneers withdrawing. MD42 setting up. Pretty hectic uh, game here so far between Jeba and Osiligarth here. Some very nice novel moves from both sides. Love for the company from Jeba. Definitely not novel. I think there'd be a bit much to say, but we'll obviously, of course, after the patch, which sits on the 27th. Rav squad, he trapped in the Falchion Pune in the Grenadiers here. Doesn't quite have grenades yet. Could toss a satchel charge into the advance here. I don't think he's going to do that. Like, he could prove me wrong here. Heavy finding there. Rifleman with M1 Garands. There go Jibber. Just withdraws here. The Weasel there right on the flank here. Pretty much causing Jibber to withdraw here. Basically, I imagine, in large part because, you know... If he doesn't, like, he could risk getting wiped on a treat there, so... Plus, in this case, he's actually suffered, like, few casualties. Like, they all dinged up, like, heavily wounded, but... He's really only lost one guy, so he can mostly just heal up this damage. He's got that field medic center up there. Going for the 2-1 to support the first Falchimega Division. Grab the southern points here, even as Mount Bacon has finally fallen to the Americans. 
Yeah, whether or not he's... Oh, he is going for the healing there. So that will delay these units a bit. But again, he can save a lot of manpower by just not sending these to combat and just waiting for the healing like a good bit of manpower. We're talking probably like somewhere in the range of 200 manpower can probably preserve if he just keeps and then gets them healed up. So the points have been seized. Got a machine gun now on the way for the function puny, the MG-15, which was very much what happens when the Germans had a lot of spare machine guns after upgrading a lot of the aircraft machine guns to bigger caliber ones and decided to convert them into light machine guns for infantry control. usage. Fun fact there. Rascal from the north here. Just one there dashing ground on the way there. Jibber currently a bit short on anti-tank weapons here though of course in a pinch he could upgrade this except he's upgraded his function planes with the MG-15 so he doesn't have the munitions for the Panzerbüchse. He's going to like go for well, a flank 30 or 2 or LG-4. LG-4 is not easy either. It's like, you know, Martyrs or Vivalence are probably in this way his better choice there. Except he's also short on fuel here, so... Jibba just doesn't have, like, any great answers right now to the Greyhound. This is only a bit the riskiest part here of Jibba's current strategy here. He can work for Flamefuss here, so... He's really gone all in on Anton from Street Living Open here to... Uh, the Greyhound out here for Siligarth. This is a really strong move for... Also, the Garth Hobbs got the Panthers. The 2 to 1, though, likely going to go down here unless Jibba gets exceptionally lucky. He didn't. Another 2 to 1 on the way there. Guess he wants the Panzer books on that one. Otherwise, it doesn't really make much sense to go for another armored car that just, you know, got knocked out by a Greyhound. When the first one got knocked out by Greyhound. So, got the Fulcher Pan here sitting on the cutoff point with MG 15. Which, by the way, used a 75-round magazine because it was very much designed to be used in aircraft. And you can't really use belt. I mean, belts up in the aircraft. Or, like, smaller magazines. They had this particular, like, you know, 75-round magazine that fed from, like, two halves of it. Fun fact. North Eclanius was Rob Scott. Second 2-1 to almost done here for Jibba. And the first fight, Jimmy Giddy be short. 2-1 out. Deployed. And I'm guessing a Panzerbüchse here. No, he's going for the radio antenna. Okay, okay, there goes the Panzerbüchse. I was like, just... I really can't imagine what the hell Chip is thinking then, if he's actually going to go for the radio antenna upgrade on his 2 to one Like, I'm sure he's got some kind of, like, really big brain plan there, but that's, like, too big even for me then. He's, like, playing 10D chess then at that stage. Falchimigas dropping in for Jeba. Falchim here being routed here as Soligarth and the 13th Division moves ahead here. We have there you go, Panzerbuchs upgraded there. Falchimigas grab the Northern Victory Point, and the Germans would upgrade a variety of their light vehicles at times for the variety of anti tank weapons and improvised manners. Half checks from the equip commonly equipped with the Pack 38. Even in some cases, with equipped with the M42 Soviet anti tank gun. Yeah, Fatima is grabbing Northern Victory Point here. Silgath hitting Jibba hard here. Jibba still feels like trying to stabilize there after his somewhat initial success, but awkward success, which Silgath is able to easily overthrow here with the Greyhound now already veterans one. Scout from there with the Fatima is quickly pushed back. Two to one, they're holding back, not meaning to assist the Fatima versus Jibba's uh, Silgath's Greyhound. Big two points wise, you also got a good lead here for Silgath because, again, for some reason, they decided that Jibba's the one. It's all the victory points. That one just got blue there. Hopefully they can fix that. Grenades off on the Rav squad. We got bars up there for the We got the SSF commanders now as an option. Weasel moving in. Flag 30 here for Jibba. Resources taken. Got northern points. Pioneers, Falchian Pioneers, got more right near for Siligaf, no SSF commandos. 2-1 to one there with the 2.8 centimeter anti-tank gun moving up. Framing forts, trying to line a fight, except the armored cart is angled just so it doesn't... Oh, and it moves straight to mine, suffering engine damage. Thankfully for Jibba, Siligaf doesn't realize this, otherwise we could have rushed in and knocked out the armored car then. Then Jibba would have been in a terrible spot here. Old man Bacon, Falchian makes in hand-to-hand -hand comp the for the South American force moving forward again, and Gibbs just struggling to like, deal with all these barred up riflemen at the moment. They pack a fierce punch here. 
Got the flag photo there being moved forward, supported by Gleonese and Pioneers. Armoured car fixed up again. There we go, scores a shot here on the Greyhound. Can he get another hit in there? There we go, got it. Greyhound there, struggling a bit there with the sudden punches there, being delivered. Misses though. Flag photo fighting heavy fire against American Troop Triangle flank in here. Brown score on the other flank machine and they're providing some heavier fire there as well. But Jebbers find most of the map B. Falling beyond his reach here as the Zilgarth hits from all sides. Attila Farm being directed at the Flak Photo crew. Causing that one to very swiftly get out of there. 2-1 to one in need of repairs again. And Titanium's there for Zilgarth. Armored car there diving southwards. They're looking to take out the ground or maybe the weasel. But both have escaped here. The reach of Jibba and Germany. Ralph Gold Fang, but there you go, right in front of the Flak 30 here. Getting shredded, but notes the fountain there in front of the Flak Garnier saves the Ralph Squad there. A fierce fang around that cutoff point as Jibba cuts off. See, I still got for most of his fuel resources there. Nice push there. Thumbs up. Really overall good maneuverability there from Jibba. Is struggling with all the riflemen despite that. Burning out the Americans here with a flying air foot. He could consider sending in some more fight makers. He could also try and take up here. He could also go for the Panzer Company. Let's see what Jebel calls does. Let's see what Jebel calls does. I do believe Jebel is one of the players who actually has some faith in the Storm Panzer Fear. I am not one of those. Anyways, Gray in there, sniping the Pioneers, Ralph Squad, they're trying to move in here as well. Machine gun there, there's the Greyhound, gonna do nothing. Even with the White Fossils runs, it's gonna do next no damage. And there you go, Jibber does in fact go for the Panzer Company. Weasel levels are gonna use the cutoff point here. Pioneers being forced off. Pushing a bit south of the Fudgemegas. Got that flak photo there, bracketing the windows there and the walls with heavy flak fire. Armor car fixed up again. Panzer Company one foot of the way done. Nothing further here for Siligarth. No sign of SSF commandos either. Black is going to withdraw here. More pressure arriving there. More troops from Siligarth as the third, or third infantry division. C Company moves up. West side here. Mount Bacon falls to the Americans as the Siligarth orders a full out assault. And the Eastern Victory fuel point is falling back into the Germans' hands. Panzer Company there right around the corner here at Fort Jibba. Ooh, we actually got here assault operations activated from a silly gap. Did never increase the catch as you can see. Plus makes them harder to hit. Definitely not an ability to use a lot, there's it. Two thumbs up. Plus advanced logistics. Ground that snuck around here to flank the Falchimagas. Very good play there. Flag 30 moving in. Armored car could assist. Panzer Company is up there. Shot on the fuel for anything here. He could go for the Star Storm. He could also go for more Falchimagas. I would say either of those would be acceptable choices for the short time. Though, of course, he is going to eat something a bit more armor. Just like, you know, hit Siligarthi on the nose aggressively. Machine there can caught in a really bad spot with a withdraw. And again, we see here, like, you know, all the fuel rush from here from Siligarthi is having quite an impact on Jebba. So, despite him rushing ahead there with the Panzer Company, well, rushing and rushing, going there relatively fast, you can't really do much with it. Black fur there, slamming into the Greyhound. Shots actually bouncing. And Titan moving forward. So that's a bit of a slip there, but a silly gap. And there you go. The Flak Furdy crew jumps upon the opportunity and rips through the Entertain and crew there. And yeah, Jibber remains strongly curtailed in the fuel income. He's not spending manpower from all the infantry, at least fight back against the American infantry. That could otherwise be a good idea. Entertain crew cleared out again. If Jibber could get his hands on it, that would be helpful, but. Statistically speaking, it's like unlikely this. Yeah, he's just destroying it. Makes the most sense there. Gonna be still come by Ralph Squad here. Fuel emissions point about to fall, and that means his remaining fuel points also being threatened. We do get Star Storm here for Jebba. Two thumbs up. Scout driving there withdrawn as well here. Flak 30 holding on, but it's only just Helmut and Wilhelm. The rest have pretty much expired in service of the Fatherland or Das Vaterland. I'm a car diving in there. 250 points remain for us. 250 points there. We got the tank depot there for the silly gaff. Fudging Pani is taking the can of the MG15. 
Northy Rascal coming up behind here. There you go, Fudge Amigas, Gunnadiers, and of course, Starstubben. That definitely gives Jib a bit more infantry punch. Got two fairly elite infantry squads here. Punching Pimps Rock Squad down here. Definitely a strong set of there. Fudge Amigas going to down the center to the captain. Got the northern point. Stars to moving in. Green and they're blasting into the Gunnadiers. Armored car diving straight at it. The tram breach over the Falcon Jaegers, but clearly not an intent there. Still, with the rather more lead infantry, Jibber is down to hit back harder here at Osilagath. So you can now challenge the rifle a bit more actively and aggressively. Bag of base here. Nothing much else going on there now for Jebba. Can't go for the Panther for a moment. He could also wait a bit longer and go for Storm Panther, I suppose. He does. Oh, he actually. It costs more or less the same. For some reason. Anyway, Storm Panther on the way there for Jebba. Getting a bit of heavy support here for the first Falchim Mega to be shown. Stars coming out. Falchim Pan's been caught here. Rout will tearing into them. Falchim Mega setting out there. Storm Panzer fear halfway down. Fighting downhill for the Starstorm is pretty great here for the Starstorm. Less of the Raven doing the fighting downhill. There's a pretty strong position here. Until he called in his flash out. The Falchim Mega is now there. 21 here. Storm Panzer fear almost done. Hunter Farmer Sherman there on the way for Silly Gav. There we go, Storm Panzer out here for Jebba and Germany. Falchim is being evicted there. Further south, we got the weasel poking in. Up north, the machine coming to the northern vector point against an encroachment there from Silly Gav. Flanking around with the star storm, catch Rav's court there, maybe threaten the retreat. White maybe is not careful, and yeah, he just retreats already before that happens. Rav's court in front of the storm panzer, massive hit. They're almost taking out the entire Rav's court there with the combined flak 30 storm panzer combo there. Captain there takes a hit. Brayhan there. There's the MD42 and the 221-28. There we go. Landing shot there. Sherman moving up. He's going to move straight to the Sturm Panzer Fear. Flackford nearby. Center is wide open here. I mean, Jibber doesn't have a lot of anti tank assets now. Going for the Panzer Glenier. Complete lightly for pack guns more than anything, I think. Help deal with the armor. Sturm Panzer scores a hit there on the Sherman. LG 40 is then, of course, straight to infantry reserves as he wants those cheaper reinforcements, unsurprisingly. Storm Panther being hit here. Then an explosive exchange with the Storm Panther and the Sherman. Now they're doing a lot of damage to each other. Right, we've got Stars from Falchim Jaegers. Falchim Panis from Sherman in as well. A hard hitting force here with a lot of automatic firepower that should be able to drown out the riflemen. Now the assault operations here from Jebba. Oh, not from Jebba. I sort of got two thumbs up, though. Armored car down. Oh, that's like the wrong armored car. For some reason, I thought that was that one. Silly Dane. Scouts pushed off. Fudge and Puny advancing. Pack 40 in the for Jebba. That's expected. Not north in machine being overwhelmed here. I sort of got there launching attacks from several sides here. Armored car. Storm Panzer rushing in. There we go. There we go, another smashing hit here from the Sturm Panzer. It's 150 on the shell. South side here, Jebba's forces moving forwards there. Sherm running north south point. as well, though, as he sees all the anti tank assets and the heavy stuff is up north. You cause it's safe to assume that the south is not going to have any support against the Hunt Fund and Sherman. Rolling forwards here. We have lost the sector. Pushing west was there, grab the fuel point there. Quick withdrawing there. No additional son of armor here from Sidagaf sort of beyond that, partly due to fairly aggressive manpower bleeding here, courtesy of Jebba. 
And there you go, Rapscott trying to counter the strong Panzer Fear. There we go. Gene there got absolutely splattered across the ground. Shambling forwards. Greyhound there was the Pawnees. Greyhound almost got the fuel pump there on Mount Bacon. But the Pawnees, he could get wiped out now. If they're not careful, Flak 30, they could be up to assist on Mount Bacon. As the Sulagathi in the 13th move forwards. We've got a banker up there for Jeva. Lightly machine gun banker between the position. Of course, he could also build a Flak 38 anti aircraft gun position, I suppose. But that would cost him fuel. And I think cost population. So probably less incentivized towards that. South Sea Fudge makes push back the scouts and engineers. Sherman there. Falling back as the Sherman Panzer rips apart position. Fudge Maker's hitting a mine. Almost losing the entire squad. Not good there for Jeba. Great though for Zilgaf. We have lost control of a victory point. Can soon go for a Panda 4. I suppose we could also go for another Sturm Panzer, though I would probably caution against that. Black Friday have a bit of suppressive fight. There we go. Pack 40 scores the kill, knocking out the weasel. Greyhound there, straight into the back forward in the Sturm Panzer as well there, suffering a bit of heavy damage. Flak 30 turn around to deal with the Ralph Squad. Got the Sherman on the beaches. With the Ralph Squad moving to assist. Hellcats on the way here. Force of the guard. Do you ever can't go for the Panzer 4? Auto another Sturm Panzer Fear. Star swinging the counter-attack here. And the Sun Vector Bomb's about to fall here to a Siligath once more. No armor yet out of Jibber. Sturm Panzer there in some fierce need repairs. Of course, he's got two Pioneer Squads and the Falchion Pioneers. So that should be fairly quickly done. And he goes for a second Sturm Panzer. Wowza. That is some confidence there. I'll cut the right around the corner here. Fighting makers with Raft Squad. Glenady moving forwards. Storm Panther running south. Of course, may want to consider some armored side skirts. Grenade assault here. Misses the rifleman. The bullets, though, do not. There we go. Storm Panther going straight for the Sherman. Raft Squad here versus the Fighting Megas. Second Storm Panther right around the corner. Armored car moving in. Machine a flat gun. Oh, that's actually the pack 40 coming in the center. Glenny's in trouble. That was the captain. Graham now rushing Mount Bacon. Stars to him. Another force there in a bit of peril there. Round got forced off. Second Sturm Panzer ready. Pete, second Sturm Panzer ready. Definitely uh, been a bit of a while since I've seen two Sturm Panzer forces at a match here. Yeah, if ever. Meanwhile, Graham there cutting through here. Jeba's northern possession, slicing through them. Like a madman in a salami shop. Anderson is about to get hit by double Sturm Panzers. And he's immediately wiped. Wow, that's pretty lucky. They never. I never used to Sturm Panzer. They can never score a wipe like that on an anti tank gun. Massive shells they're hammering in. Taking the Hellcat being hit by that would probably just be completely gone, but that would obviously be a bit imbalanced. Anyways, Ralph's going in the centers of the Falchi Megas and the Grenadiers in support. Pack 4 being pushed southwards. Black 13 trouble up north here. Ranking the anti tank over the Sturm Panzer 4. Grenadiers, Falchi Megas, Moons assist. Pack 40 in the move here. We got 209 versus 403. Double Sturm Panzer hits, though they would appear just slams through the Hellcat, almost knocking out Sherman. The strength of Pack 40 here. Fudgeming is nearby, could join him with a Panther Fast here, which could leave the Sherman in a really terrible spot here. Sturm Panzer rolling ahead here. Interesting enough, he's not picked the, the final ability there in either Loiter or Fragmentation Bombing Run. Maybe he doesn't care though. Black Feather as well, squad immediately pinning him down here. But the crew has definitely seen better days. Starts from there, good to go again. Second Hunter Farmer Sherman here for a silly gaff. And the Flag 30 crew finally gets wiped. That's definitely a win here for a silly gaff. I'm going to get his hands on it. In particular, Jim doesn't have like, any forces nearby. So all he got is that armored car, and that's not going to stop it. This can end up being crucial. Little win here for a silly gaff. Sturm Panzer there rolling north. Fudge and Jaeger's being hammered with the now two advancing Hunter Farmer Shermans. 
Second storm hunting north at sea. The adversary is trying to take one of our points. No, these are early models, as later models would have a small hole machine gun in the top. Right half there, the front. Last squad being pushed back further up north here. MD 40 getting flanked. Starsum and support here, though. Machine crew, the cook, they wiped out. Flak 40 decrewed. That's a small win there, I suppose. Again, in return for Jeva. He got engineers on the for Zilagath, as he's lost his previous engineer squad, meaning he actually has no way repairing his armor at the moment. Armored Science goes there to make his storm panzers even more durable. Decent shot there. Armored Science goes halfway down. Up north here, plunge being ceased. There we go, Jibber's on the move. Got two anti tanks now supporting two storm panzers. That's definitely bad news that Infos of Lagarth. There go, moving forwards here. Massive shells flying through the armor, rippling there with the concussive blast of the Storm Panzer Force infantry running for cover, but they don't want to get obliterated. And Albert, they definitely did get obliterated. That is some rather punchy stuff there out of Jibber. Very punchy. Starstorm hitting a sail, two Rob Squads moving in. Of course, this one's jump Panzer moving up to assist here. Germans are moving up as well to assist in return. Nice in the star storm, almost got them white. Packs, anti tanks are moving up. And there you go, Sherman Ford still advancing right in front of the anti tanks if they could see it. Which they can't. Second storm has at the same main road here, straight to the Hellcat. And you need to stop bunch up in front of it. Oh, God! Him, him! <laughs> That Hellcat suddenly got very red. Hey, Gene, yeah. Are we supposed to be red? Nah. And I think the engineers just got murdered. Ah, oh, not again. Like, I'm surprised they didn't I just have all three engineer squads wiped, though. But good God. Hellcat, the diving and tanks, tank and jump hunts are fire here. And there we go. We do get a Lloyd's now out here from Jebba against Sligarthi. Pioneers being wiped out by the Hunter Farm Sherman. Hellcat, down. Vanishing in a shower explosions and ammunition. Storm Panzer now engaging here, Siligarth's base, anti tank is joining in. Situation here for Siligarth is rapidly getting worse here. He's going to do something drastic to turn the tide here against Yeba. There you go, his barracks is gone. Storm Panzer withdrawing for now, anti tanks down low for Siligarth. He calls has the whiz bang, but I don't think this is necessarily a time to whiz bang it. Fighting pioneers are busy laying down mines, and we got here a bunker up for Jibba. Sherman fixed up. But yeah, most of the map that is now German. So the guy still has to lead, though, but. Force wise, things are getting a bit more uncomfortable. We're seeing another anti tank being brought up here for Siligath. Bunker, they almost fixed. Bit of quiet. There we go. Machine gun bunker upgrade on the way. And some sandbags. Storm Panzerling southwards. Bit of quiet here though. Machine gun, star storm, gun in this, all in the move here. Catching Ralph on the treaty. We got two other Ralph are hunting behind the rose bushes there, or whatever they're supposed to be there. Come on, roses. You get the idea. Gun in this, star storm in here, Ralph being pushed back, grenades being lobbed at the American GIC. Got the hunter function moving up, catching the German troops in a bit of a compromising position, and immediately starts bombarding them there with hunter firemen with high explosive shells here. Machine gun there now, the Nexus of the Wrath here, the Sherman Storm Punch will catch the Rifeman and absolutely bombarding them here, machine gun pushed back, and six now finally at the Storm Punch, machine gun almost wiped out, shots bouncing off the Storm Punch's front armor, the side armor though is definitely not as thick, and shots are definitely going through there, Storm Punch is suddenly down to one third of his health total, Sherman pushing for the hill here, Gibber's position looking a lot less safe now here, as the Zilligarth turns to the offensive, 
Incendio around here on the Entertainment Crew here for other Sherman Navetti 2. So that's one Entertainment wiped out and destroyed. Sh Armored car moving in here. Sherman's weaving in there. Trying to take out. There we go. Armored car down as well. Jebba is taking a sounding loss as now from a set of guards. Second set of Incendio rounds there. About to wipe out the second Entertainment Crew there. A set of Scalers. A set of guards. Entertainment up. One wiped out. Stone Punts moving in there. Things are chaotic. They're hectic. More pioneers on the way here. Kennedy is wiped. Losses are piling up on both sides. So Sulegatho is holding on here. The enemy has 300 points remaining. Entertainment's about to get wrecked here. Even as Jebba is using Starstorm to accrue anti tank guns. Definitely not every day you see that. It does happen, obviously. Hellcat there, halfway done. A right from moving forward, see? And Jebba is going for an unprecedented third Stone Panzer Fear. Good God. Southern the point of by the Falchion Pioneers here with the MD 15 the Karnat TKs. Another unit wiped. By the sound of things. Looks a bit of nothing near squad there. So the Goth continues to suffer massive casualties in, with the engineers that start from withdrawing here. As regardless of the Goth launching a major offensive here towards the north side. Which Jeb, of course, is preparing for a third Steel Panzer IV. Oh dear. Stone Panzer being forced, but. Uh, Function Panzer back with the Stone Panzer. Up north here, Ralph's got the Falchion Punia, starts swimming in as well. The Raven taking massive losses from the MU42. Third Stone Panzer, though. Third Stone Panzer. Good God. Falchion Punia's going for the northern victory. We've got Ralph's course they're doing what they can against them. Stone Panzers, meanwhile, are moving down the main road here, catching the Antan crew there. We've got the bunker busting barrage. Knocking up some dirt there. So what is also going to do now? More Hellcats? Who knows? Like it's definitely a bit of an awkward situation. Like his infantry in particular is in the danger zone here against the Storm Panzers. Need to maybe sneak up the south side here. We'll have to see he's down 188 versus 258. Now the pack 48 for Jibba to support his massive Storm Panzer 4 army there. Now they're entertaining me more for the Garth. Match has definitely uh, shifted in a raw approach and momentum here. Now get back into now get back into more bunkers there from Jebba. The the Further four to find the front line here against the American counterattacks. So, Jaegers on the way now for Jebba. Jaegers. Going to fought into the Hunter Farm and Sherman, both exchanging fire. Good luck, boys. Cat and Crack just acting as a spotter. Fresh entertaining like the Facility Gaff. And just really taking the ship. There we go, entering time into the Storm Panzer, again getting touched with the side yeah, armor. And there you go, Hellcat there in the line of fire there for the anti tank guns. And the far south here, finally got sort of got sneaking up there. So we got the Jaegers out there for Jeva. The G43 semi automatic rifles. And there you go, another bunker ready there for Jeva. To basically make it harder here for a sort of got to like suddenly rush into one of the victory points there. Force him to commit on to you with Starstorm in the center, almost taking out here with the Sturm Punk of the Hunt from the Shermans. And we got a third bunker up for Jeva now. Covering here as well. Interesting. Now the duel there of massive guns. Storm passing south for trying to catch up with some of the oh, so got southern push you see. And again, so the guy is probably just trying to figure out how to deal with this because this is definitely not your average build. And he's clearly in no rush to get his men utterly blown to tiny pieces. I'm sure that's obviously what Jibba would prefer. Machine gun bunker there, almost ready. 
Jaeger's running up there with like a kitchen plans of books. And we got a silly guy from Nazwell with another hunter found with Sherman. But there you go. Bunker spotted. The Taking hits here from the point. Sherman. Hellcat joining in here. Southern flank is going to collapse here. Do you have a move from here to there? At least without risking just having to pour through the choke points of North here. Bunker stands. But Jibber's falls there taking heavy damage. In the south of the bunker has fallen. Mines going off the Hellcat with the damaged engine. Enter tank in there. Oh, being brought into possession here. Storm Punch taking hits. Rout squad grabbing the eastern victory point. Third Hunter Farm was shown away there. Right from there taking some nasty hits. Enter tank they're firing away at them. Converting bunker to a medical facility. Oh, it's a medic bunker here from Gibber. That's not a bad idea. That is definitely not a bad idea. Interesting and hanging back. Ralph's will grab the fuel point. At least for this, we'll still have to stop the manpower bleed again. Just grab it back onto Gibber. All right. We are moving. John Punch is moving in here under Gibber's command. Enemy his triple stone panzer command. Rouse got taking a bit of nasty hit here. Meme on the south side, Jibber's launching assault stars from Fudge Makers pushing ahead here, though without any armor support here. And of course, a lot of hand from the this could easily like go poorly here for Jibber's lead infantry. As for Siligarth, is likely going to just counterattack as fast as possible to put a stop to this. Man, the stars from already sent packing here. And then we want towards the Fudge Makers, of course, they are hiding up. But that said, it's pretty obvious where they are hiding, so of course that's basically just what the government needs to bombard. West side of Fauci Pioneers push back, Storm Panzers are pushing southwards to meet the Shermans alongside of Pack 40 here. And it feels like just as the government is just waiting to try and bait Jibber into like his anti tank against his Hellcat and of course the Shermans. So with this, Jibber is basically in a sense taking a silly Garth's bait. Hellcat though is definitely making a mistake here, charging in first to the Shermans. And there you go, Pack Crew now being met here with the Shermans. Moved into fast and have no real way of covering out its withdrawal here. But looks like here Jeb has a bit of luck, avoids losing his anti tank crew here. Sherman pushing up northwards here. Another Vetchy 2 stone punter for Jeb, worth noting no officers' quarters, though he could benefit from that with all these stone punters, to be honest. Could benefit a fair bit from that, plus it starts to open. But that might be a bit of an oversight there, if you will. Strong punch moving straight ahead into the anti tank guns, into the Hellcats. Could see Strong Punzer down here, that definitely good win here. Fossil Oh, shots bouncing off, failing to penetrate the 100mm thick frontal armored steel there. Meanwhile, Hunter Farm Sharon dashing in here into Jibber's northern lines here, causing confusion, sowing chaos. So the Garth slowly but steadily dismantling here, Jibber, it would feel like. Kencrad just kind of forgotten in the middle of the road. <laughs> Repairing up here, but there's definitely a builder within the south. Up north here, Rascal forced back by the Stump Punts. Obviously, good move there by Jib. Also, oh, just withdrawing at that point. He's clearly applying a lot of pressure to Jibber now. The build up period is gone now. Also, oh, just slowly squeezing Jibber here and there, poking, prodding. Of course, Jibber's now trying to more actively counterattack into Siligat to force him away there. More shots here going through. Sturm Punch moving up here. Hellcat Sturman moving northwards. Got 140 to an 11. Jaegers with any forge support here, though, encountering severe resistance and incendiary around here. Almost wipes out the Jaegers. Up northeast, Sturm going for the Star Storm. Close, in fact, there to wiping them out. And the way to the machine gun bunker there's also wide open. Jibber is not retreating his stars from though. Definitely a bit of risk there of losing them if you're not careful. Stone Punch is moving in. And we got a one attempting to flank here. And Fox is moving in here. And he's been caught in a bad spot. And to tangle up with the Stone Punch. And the odds got. So the guards and to be cleared out here. But now the Fox makes in trouble. Stone Punch taking heavy fire as well here. Up north finding going on as well. Hellcat. Sherman there. Diving in. Bunker down. Jibber's situation is rapidly deteriorating now here. Zilgath is seen through Hijeba, and he's causing immense havoc and chaos here. Patrick, the squad's got him in the Hellcat. Medic Bunker, they're getting bombarded. Southside here. Zilgath on the move again. 
Almost hurt the medic bunker there, but not quite. Fell just a bit short there. Sturm Panzer down though, one down. We've about seen second one go down. This is huge. This is massive. Two Sturm Panzer falls down in a matter of seconds. Jebba situation is rapidly now going very sour here. Rapidly falling apart. Collapsing even. He's down to less than 100 points now. He needs to make up for his losses fast. Can he do it fast enough? And we got a chaffy that briefly considered here, but so the guy that goes against that idea, it would seem very rapidly. Perhaps he's got bigger plans with the whiz bang, or he just wants something else. Who knows? Falling back here, two heavily damaged Hellcats limp out. Another Hunter Farm Sherman here. Plus, we actually got Jebba now with Panther Force. Rav's call that Tinger smashing hit it from the Sturm Panzer, ripping them apart. South side here though, Siligarth got the point as well. Be down to 73 points with Jebba. Fast as Siligarth, 211. Straight from Runs here going in. Doing everything and just keep Jebba off the point here. Catching Fudge is catching stars from the other straight from Run. Troops are pushing into the fire here. Jebba doesn't care. And this costs him quite a bit. Machine crew there wiped out 52. Versus 211. Rifle score pushing in from Mount Bacon. Sherman's about to get knocked out. Sturm has been bombarded. Almost knocked out. Jaegers down. Hand force arrived here for Jebba. And there you go. Game over. Jebba calls it quits here. A brutal battle here across Twin Beaches with a very rare triple Sturm Panzer Fear build. Bartlett Siligath there was able to like, see through here what Jebba was doing, slowly exploit any gaps in that way, turn it into a victory. Jebba was simply putting with too many Sturm Pans, I think, left himself a bit too vulnerable. I think some Panther Force would have served him a bit better there to find a bit more aggressive maneuver elements. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. You learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment, tell a friend, tell a family, and as always, you can support the bottom of the cards by donating up to Patreon. This is Imperial Machine. Cheers, and see me all tomorrow for a nice episode. Bye, everyone.